in uh, this round at 22 of the NRL. Sunday Rugby League underway, Warriors and Bulldogs. And see you, Manifane, with the first run back and driven sideways. A couple of Raiders in the pack for the Bulldogs today, Ryan James. Here he is with his first touch in the blue and white. And Corey Horsburgh coming off the bench. Let's go to the sideline, Jake Duke. Uh, Duke, so drama's already today with Corey Allen sideline for the Bulldogs. Yeah, Corey Allen was battling a bit of a viral bug, Bossy, and he wasn't feeling well in the warm-up. Hang on so. a second, Jake, but watch Curran extend. Found himself off the right wing. Linking up with O'Sullivan. Hang on a second, Jake. Six more, Bright and breezy, and a set restart for the Warriors there. Jazz Tavanga takes full advantage. Offloads and kept alive from Wade Egan. Good support play. Now Egan again. And O'Sullivan, and across they come. Walsh, Ewan Aitken, a back row again today. Well, he's run around Adam Falua Blake twice. He went to his right and to his left. Play on the court. Four metres from the line. Canterbury have conceded the first try. 13 straight games, and make that 14. What a line run from a very much improved back rower, Josh Curran. The Warriors take full advantage of the first line break and field position in the game. Look at this for hole running. It's the first time they've had the football. Beautiful pass held up, goes at the line. O'Sutherland straight away to the man who, who initiated the long range breaking current. And he's had a great start to the game to score the opening try. They're certainly fearless. Now O'Sullivan intercept. How quickly it changes. Shops away. Walsh is chasing. What a foot race. Shop gets there for the Bulldogs. Well, there's the swings and roundabouts of rugby league. O'Sullivan, try assist. Two minutes ago, now pass intercepted and try conceded. Yeah, just tries to take the ball right to the line, O'Sullivan, as he did when they set up that try first. But you saw Shop just camped in their line that time. Just passed it straight to him, scooped it up. Poor old Reese Welsh tried to cover. I like the look of this kid. He's wholehearted. Walsh can't go with him. And here's Avarillo's first kick of the day. Successful as well. Well, it's high in entertainment. On the fourth. Good field position again. Walsh in for Aiken. Has scored three tries the last two weeks as a back rower. He's relishing the role. Last tackle here, Warriors. Egan. Sullivan right up to the line. Curran, that's good play. Push up, support. If Curran wasn't going to score, Tavanga, his little mate, was. That's a really well constructed try. Yeah, it's, it's carbon copy. Again, we see O'Sullivan going at the line. The pass to Curran now. They're trying to get him one on one. Look how short they are, the Bulldogs, on their left hand side. The legs tackle. Tavanga just supports back on the inside. Both sides are quite comfortable making breaks here in this game so far early. Going try for try. Tavanga, your man, gets yeah. over the strike, just supports through the middle and goes over unopposed. And an end of a 23-game try drought as well for Jazz. Josh Curran. No, did you realise he was this good? What no, you've I didn't. Seen no. The last few weeks, he is playing out of his skin now. He is. Playing real good. You've got Harris DeVita on the left, Walsh lurking on the right, here he is, floats it over the top because he does it easy! Any boy has scored in the corner. The Warriors have got their third try. Have a look at the size of him. He's a bulldozer on yeah, the As soon, soon as he got the football, it was all over, was it? Wouldn't have matter how good the scramble was there from the doggies. That's the last tackle. They go the crash play. Elliot has been held up. Well, he puts the tongue out. Last Is he saying he might have scored? Held up. No, he's played. held up. Adam Elliot. Well, there's your answer. They'll put under pressure there. The Warriors. And it's Curran who just holds him up. Look at that bear hug tackle. That, oh, there's a tackle after the kick. Under it is Meany. They're going to be very strong. In fact, there was a memo that went out 
uh, as recent as the last two weeks for this particular act they are going to get very tough on challenges on kickers Chanel with it he's in air he's been grabbed by James and finished off by James yeah that's a bad one had he just put him down nice and gently probably wouldn't have been a penalty he just went on with the tackle there so <laughs> Reese Walsh is the policeman there. Ryan! Have a look at him. Reese, you might be fighting out of your weight division there, son. Last tackle, O'Sullivan, Harris to Vita, kick is good. Aitken's there, what a catch! Between the legs. Look where he's made the tackle, Jaden Ockenball. So obviously they'll go left again. And Harris to Vita kicks high. Hopawati's on the wing. Knocked down there, Montoya, double knockdown. Now back, Harris to Vita, tries a little kick. Tries a second one, gets the ball back, and Canterbury back with it with Jackson. Egan, Curran, he's beaten another, he's offloaded, O'Sullivan in the tackle of Menio, it's dropped. Tanua Brown would have got a little bit of white line fever there. He's a dangerous player, Curran, isn't he? Time to play out this set for Canterbury. Jackson, Avarillo, Dory, nice hand. Meany for Ockenbore. Canterbury have scored in the final seconds of the first half. And I know we've had fun in recent weeks about Bulldogs would be so, I was smiling about some of the players they've picked up, but I reckon Canterbury will regret losing Nick Meany. Melbourne will be smiling what they got to work with, with the Canterbury fullback. From the sideline, right foot. Straight, but then fades away. So five tries in the first half. That's three. Katoa, Avarillo, cadet ball, Hapawadi, bit of footwork. Hapawadi, oh, set it up for Ockenball, who loses the ball, and then was back slammed by Montoya. A let off. And that is the last tackle of the Bulldogs. Katoa, does he know it? He's got it away. James hasn't got a kick in him. Amarillo doesn't have a kick in him. He's kept it alive. Curran's come up with a ball. Oh, that's an abomination for the Bulldogs on the last. Yeah, another big play there from Curran. He was the second down on the kick there just a little bit earlier. And just the desperation to clean the loose ball up. We've seen that a couple of times from the Dogs. Just goes to the wrong player on the last. Well, Katoa hung on to the ball too long. I mean, that's, that's where we went wrong there. They've kicked early. Shot Harris to Vita. Sending Wallstrom. He's got to it. And he's claiming the try as well. If he's onside, it's by centimetres. If he got it down before the dead ball line, it's by millimetres. He's got some pace too, because Meany had to turn and run. He's pretty quick himself. Kick on the third tackle. Have a look where Meany is. Is he onside, Walsh? Take a great put down. Nice little bounce for him too. Great play from the Warriors. Look at the bounce favours Walsh here. Here's the put down. It's a beauty. Oh, wow. <laughs> well done. The finish is something special. Got to get to your kick. It's a poor error there after they got themselves back into the game. And into today, four from seven from the sideline. That's a beauty. James, another carry. It's his 11th of the afternoon. Horsburgh's had seven with a couple of offloads. This kick beyond the Odo was long off the boot. Cozzy plays it cool with it now. The big fella. Big fast Eddie is caught by the Canterbury defence. It's a result for the Bulldogs. Yeah, I think he was in two minds whether to play at that ball that time. Big Cozzy. The fourth tackle. It's been an unflattering set by Canterbury. Katoa, Avarillo up to the line. That was better. Brilliant tackle. Harris to Vita. He was shortened up there five metres from the line. Four tackles up for Canterbury. Cross with Katoa setting it up. Avarillo then straightening up Dory, no one on the inside. He had the right arm free. Katoa on the last, kick and scrap. And uh, there is Curran coming up with a ball for the Warriors. Yeah, he even cleans it up, Curran. He's been everywhere here this afternoon for the Warriors. Easily their best player. But again, the end of sets there for the Bulldogs. Been a problem all season. Oh, it. The Warriors, I don't know about the tackle after the drop ball. You might hear more about that. It's tapped on to Manu. I know the drop ball was clean, but then there was a shot put on that we might have to review. 
The Warriors are growing blue murder a bit. Yeah, they're going right back at it. They've, they've called the try, then they'll go to the video, I'm sure. The first thing we're going to see if it hits him in the head, which it does. The Warriors player loses possession of the football. However, there is high contact from Sione Katoa after the ball has been lost. We now have a decision. The knock-on does happen first. Yep. That doesn't negate the high contact. So it's on report, yeah. and that's what the penalty is for. I do understand the knock-on happens first, Adam, but that doesn't negate the high contact. So Sullivan, Katoa, big off right Oh, Cozzi! Well, this afternoon's gone south, hasn't it? The roller coaster has come off the tracks for poor Eddie. Devanga with the ball will also then be calling the Sharks and the Knights. That should double yeah, anyway. on the Sunday ticket. Time's off. They've asked for the uh, game to be stopped. Do we have a penalty for a strip? This from Walsh. He's getting the goal swing ready. Getting that rhythm going. 15 to go. Off the boot from Walsh. The strike is a beauty. He's almost put it up into the bistro under someone's chicken schnitzel. No shortage of hard runners in this Warriors side. Nikarima, O'Sullivan, intercept chance, shot, went back, Bulldogs still with it. Elliott, upfield he goes, not a supporting QE of him. But they hang on again, Canterbury. It's O'Sullivan's duty to put the bomb up, looking for Eddie. There he is, Cozzy, clean catch, offloaded, Hiku's got the ball. Hickow is held up by Kenneth. Ah, well done there for yes. the dogs. With Marshall King, Avarillo, Opawani, it's popped up and oh, Ockenbore. Oh, Ockenbore now, he's just kicked, kicked in the crowd. So Canterbury in the final seconds. And Katara is the one kicking, looking for Ockenbore. Marcelo Montoya's had a good day against his former club. So the only points the Warriors conceded today, an intercept, long-range try early, the try in the final seconds of the first half. Avarillo injured to finish. But the hearts of Canterbury are broken again. Up together. Meany out of the game, failed an HIA. I don't know whether there's too many positives to take out of it. Plenty for the Warriors, though. They have strung together three straight Victories.